Hi, everybody. I'm RJ Nestor, the uh, creator of the Action Powered Productivity Community, a productivity coach, and the host of the Action Powered Productivity Digital Conference. That will be August 31st through September 2nd of 2023. I am here today with Kelly Fancher, who will be one of the presenters at that conference. I got to know Kelly uh, when he joined cohort six of Applied Action Powered Productivity uh, back uh, a year or so ago. And I've uh, it's been my honor to get to know him uh, and see the, the enormous value that he brings to our community. He's one of those people that when we're having a, a productivity discussion, I know that when I run out of things to say, I can say, well, what do you think, Kelly? And Kelly will have something valuable to add uh, without exception, always bringing something important. Uh, Kelly does have a YouTube channel at Kelly Fancher. So if you're interested in following that, please do that. Um, one of the themes of the conference um, is something I call building productivity bridges. And a bridge um, is the result of an action taken now that will increase the speed, the accuracy, or the quality of future work. Uh, things like templates, things like automations can be as simple as learning a keyboard shortcut or creating a link to work can be something as big and broad as a strategy. And I, I mentioned strategy specifically because what Kelly's going to talk about at the digital conference is how he uses Zettelkasten as a strategy. And so I'm going to take that, I'm going to turn it over to Kelly now to give us a little glimpse uh, at what his uh, pr presentation at the conference is going to be about and how that ties in uh, to that overall theme. Take it away, Kelly. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for that introduction, RJ. Uh, so I've entitled my presentation for the conference Zettelkasten Bridging Subcreation, because in my mind, that's entirely what Zettelkasten is all about. It is being a little bit more intentional in the note taking now and putting a little bit more effort now to make a better result in the future or to make that end result a bit easier. And actually, my entire uh, idea for this presentation and what I am going to be talking about is all the result of these connections that I made in the past in my own Zettelkasten in Tana. And when RJ asked me to speak, I'm like, I want to talk on the Zettelkasten. What should I talk about? Oh, look, there's this connection I made in the past about subcreation. So let's talk about that. Um, my main goal in this is uh, twofolds. Firstly, I want to really demystify Zettelkasten because a lot of people are under the impression that it is incredibly complex and only useful if you are an academic and want to turn out tons of papers like Nicholas Luhmann, who um, is the one who we tend to credit with the Zettelkasten. Of course, there were people before him, uh, but this just isn't true. A Zettelkasten is useful, I think, for pretty much anyone who wants to do some creative or sub creative output whether that is youtube videos like i do or newsletters uh, writing school papers or yes even publishing academic papers and if you skew a little bit towards that academic side of things yes it can get a little bit more complex you track references and all that sort of thing but at simplest form a zelkasten is really really easy uh, to implement and so my goal is to first look Firstly, talk about that and show you how easy it can be to actually implement and you how useful it can be. The second goal, of course, is to talk about what I mean by this bridging subcreation. What does it really mean to put in the effort now in your Zettelkasten to make future subcreative works easier? And so, of course, I'll be doing that. And that portion of the talk will largely be done through a demo in how I implement this all in Tana. Oh, that's fantastic. And so you use Tana as do I. Um, so you're you're going to illustrate for us in Tana how you take uh, the things that you have created, the, the the bridge that has been built over time in that Zettelkasten process, and then turn that into uh, what, what, is, that, is that content that you create from that? Is it for uh, for YouTube channel or for other things? What, what sort of things are you generating? Yeah. Um, so I will largely walk through the process of how I interact with my Zellicostin on a daily basis, mm -hmm. basic, how I go from just a random note I add to it, how I build up that note and connect it with other things over time. And I'll probably use this talk that I'm giving itself as the demonstration point of how I took these previous notes and their connections and made you know, content from that. Uh, because I figure, you know, you'll all at this point in the talk be familiar with what I'm talking about. So hopefully you'll be able to see the end result. That's great. I love that. Um, so the idea of bridging 
using the tool of the Zettelkasten, using the process, the methodology of your Zettelkasten. And from that, you're able to create uh, the content you create. Uh, I uh, I have such admiration for that. I think that uh, the Zettelkasten strategy um, is, is one that is considerably mis I, I maybe misunderstood is the wrong word but i think that people get focused on the wrong part of it i think yes. they get so <laughs> they get so tied up in the uh in the the management quote unquote side of it that nothing ever is allowed to bloom from the process and that and that then it becomes something that is a chore rather than a tool uh, and i think you know what you're describing and what you're going to demonstrate there really illustrates that the bridge there that you're building uh, becomes a tool. That's fantastic. Anything else you'd like to share about the presentation? Yeah, and I, just on that, I think you're exactly right. I, and my main hope in this presentation is to show how a Zello costing can be useful to anyone, not just academics, not just for something that requires a lot of research and sources, but you know, just anyone who wants to go out and make an end product, which I hope is all of us. I hope we are all creative in some form or another. And yes, I will fully admit a Zettelkasten is not the only way to take notes. I think it should be a form of note taking in everyone's arsenal, or at least most people's arsenal. And there are other types of notes. And I'll briefly touch on those and what a Zettelkasten is not useful for. But I do really hope to show in this how I think a Zettelkasten can be used by pretty much anyone. Fantastic. I love it. Well, thanks for chatting with me today, Kelly. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm I'm very excited to see uh, what you have for us at the conference, uh, and I'll I'll talk to you when we when we get there. To see our spectacular slate of presenters at the Action Powered Productivity Digital Conference, use this link to register. It is hosted on Circle, and Circle is completely free. If you already have a Circle account. You'll be able to log in once you're using that link. Just log into your account and it should attach uh, the appropriate space group and space uh, to your sidebar, spaces to your sidebar. I also include the free areas of the APP free community overall. So you can have those as well. Um, if you don't have a Circle account, sign up. It's free. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Let me show you just briefly where you'll find the things. Now, my screen's a little crazier because I am hosting a lot of things out of my Circle. So don't pay attention to everything over here. What you really need to know for the conference is here, the APP Digital Conference Free. There is a space for updates where I'll have a few posts just reminding everybody what's going on. But where you really need to know about is the APP DC Live presentations. This is where all of the presentations are listed. Um, they'll have the times. These are the Eastern times, but yours will say your local time. So you'll be able to get that the time as it is appropriate. Please remember, if you want to attend one of these, to use this over here to RSVP that you will be there. And I encourage you also to explore the notifications options here in Circle to make sure that you get a notification to remind you when the event's about to start. It is free to attend all of the presentations live at the conference. If you would like to watch one later, one of the replays, that will be available in the Action Powered Productivity Pro community. That's $9 a month, but it's canceled anytime. So if you want to watch those replays, if you can't catch one of them live, uh, you can do that. You can just get a month subscription and watch the ones you missed at your leisure over the course of that month. And if you don't see uh, the need to stay in the community, you can cancel at any time and you won't be charged anything further. Uh, though I do hope that you'll find the value in the community and consider staying. Uh, but that is how you can engage uh, with the Action Powered Productivity Digital Conference. Uh, this is how that process works. If you have any questions once you're in the Circle community, you can DM me in the community. There's a little DM area up here. Uh, and I'm happy to answer that. And I hope that I will see you there uh, and and watching our live presenters. I'm just very excited to get going. Uh, and I think we have a we have a fantastic slate of presenters uh, and that you'll get a lot of value out of out of engaging with the conference. I hope to see you there.